What is up, my true Sag gang? It's your girl, Didi the True Sag, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, and comment down below what you would like to see from your girl. Also, if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Hi, guys. How you guys doing? I'm going to start off with my post notification shout-outs. If you want to post a notification shout-out, all you have to do is positively comment down anything down below, and I will shout you out. You can say hi, and I'm going to shout you out. My first post notification shout-out goes to... Elizabeth Laster. Hey, girl. You was first in my last video. I really, really, really appreciate you. And I thank you so much for all the nice comments. Thank you so much for answer, asking some questions on my community tab. Getting ready for that um, updated Q&A. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you. I wish you nothing but good abundance, good health, and good wealth for the rest of 2024 for you and your family. My second post notification shout out goes to Lady T. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for commenting on my last video. I really, really, really appreciate you. Make sure you go on there and Ask me some questions on my last community post. That's where I want the questions for my updated Q&A. I know you asked some really good questions, and I would like to do it because we have a lot of new people, and I just want to let them know who I am, and I'm going to start doing this again every month, once a month. So I wish you nothing but good abundance, good health, and good wealth for the rest of 2024 for you and your family. My third and final post notification shout out goes to Akasha's Journey. Hey girl, thank you so much for commenting on my last video. You know you always let them know to you always let them know to sit there and press that like button. Thank you so much. And school is doing so wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate you so much. And I love you so much. And I love your spirits. And I wish you nothing but good abundance, good health, and good wealth for the rest of 2024 for you and your family. So, guys, I want to start off by letting you guys know that I will be doing an updated Q&A. Um, please, new people, the people that has been here, whoever you are that is watching, please go to my last community tab and go ask a lot of questions because I like to do up to 50 to 80 questions. And I like to just answer these questions. I am completely honest. So anything that you would like to know, go ahead and ask them. Long as it's not like negative or just questions that you're asking to be funny, go ahead and ask the questions. You know, um, I do this once a month for the new people that we get, and. It's that time I forgot to do it for January, so I'm going to start it back up this month. Happy February 1st, you guys. It is Black History Month, so you know, we will be talking about some good Black History facts and some Black History people, and you know, we're going to dedicate this month to getting to know more about Black History for some of us that don't know, you know? So, yes. And whew, I just wanted to let y'all know just what I just been going through for the last couple of days on like why I didn't post. Um, and it's been trickling down for today. I do not feel good at all. Um, starting the day before yesterday, I want to say, or I don't know how to explain it. Not last night, the night before. So I ate lunch that day, which was Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday, I ate lunch. The kids were here on Tuesday, and I became really sick. 
um, not like TMI, but I have been using the restroom, um, really badly, um, since that day. So, that night, um, Tuesday night, the new shift started at like 7 p.m. I was up the entire shift. I finally got some rest yesterday at 3.45 p.m. And that was, excuse me, that was only for 20 minutes. My stomach has been cramping. My throat has been hurting. And I've been using the restroom really, really, really bad. I am still going to the restroom really bad. I have not had an appetite. Um, I try to eat like one meal a day because I am taking all this medicine. So like yesterday I did eat lunch. No, yesterday I did eat dinner. It was, it was good. Um, I still use the restroom. I've still been going to the restroom. I finally did give me some sleep last night where I didn't go to the restroom until this morning. Uh, um, about 11 this morning, I got up, and I've been going to the restroom since. Um, it is 2.30 p.m., and I'm still going to the restroom, so it's been a total of two days that I have been going to the restroom. Um, I've been drinking Pedialyte, to try to get my electrolytes back due to me going to the restroom. I feel like my body is getting dehydrated. Um, I think it's 2.32, so it's time for me to get in my chair and do my exercises. So I'm going to get in my chair and do some exercises while I talk to you guys. And yeah, hold on, give me a minute. Okay, you guys, sorry that it takes me a little while. Well, y'all don't know I paused the video, but yeah, it takes me a little while to get to the chair because I have to pull the chair next to my bed. It kind of transfer, so I won't walk and I won't fall. So as I was saying, I'm doing my leg exercises now, y'all. So um, as I was saying that i just been using the restroom, using the restroom, using the restroom. Um... I, it's tiring. My stomach hurts. It's cramping. <sighs> My body hurts. Um, it's just, I have not been feeling good. My nurses and my CNAs that usually know me, um, they go, oh my gosh, you don't look good. And I say, yeah, I know. Physical therapist been coming in, trying to work with me. But they also been looking and seeing that I don't feel good. So then that pushes me back to my, for me. Um, I feel like it pushes me back because I feel like I'm taking steps back. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like me not... Working out as much as I can every day feels like I'm taking steps backwards. And I know it's not good for me, but me being a Sagittarius, and if you're a Sagittarius, you understand, or if you know about Sagittarius, you understand we worry a lot. So, um, I'm trying to do that. Why I'm going through, like, other stresses, of course, outside life does not stop, which is something I learned just because you're sick and you don't feel good, you still have responsibilities and that is so tiring. And I hate it when I think about people that do not see their kids or do not want to see their kids or um, like just can do for their kids but choose not to do for their kids. It's like you're you know you know you don't have to worry about getting sick and still being a parent. You know what I mean? Which I would not trade it for nothing. But it is times where I want to go. Oh my goodness! Like today, yesterday, Tuesday, I I cannot stop hurting. 
I'm hurting. My stomach, my back, my leg is hurting. And I want to feel like crying, but I cannot cry because I have so much to do. Like school did not stop. I had to sit up in pain yesterday, going back and forth to the bathroom and still do my homework. I have homework to do tonight. Um, you know, and that's also because I don't want to wait until the last minute to do homework when I know it's very hard to get all the homework done and on like it's all due Sunday to get it all done on Sunday. It's a lot of typing. It's a lot of research that takes hours. It's a lot of chapters I got to read that takes hours. So I've been trying to knock down an, an, an assignment every day. So Tuesday night, I didn't do it, of course, because I was just not feeling good. You know, I was feeling the worst. I'm feeling bad today, but I was feeling the worst Tuesday. Like Tuesday, it was not, I couldn't even lay in the bed comfortably. I was in that much pain that they couldn't even get my blood pressure because I could not sit still. I was just rocking like this. Because I was in so much pain. Just rocking. Rocking, rocking, rocking. And for some reason when I rock, the pain subsides in one place. But then I'm moving my body so it still hurts in other places. So, um, all I can say is that my pain meds have been helping me with my back and my knee. So, that was good. It's just my stomach has been queezing and cramping at the same time. So it's like type of queezing, like, but then it's like cramping at the same time. It has been terrible. Um, and like I said, life doesn't stop. I had to do stuff for the kids. I had to make sure, you know, my boyfriend has stuff for the kids to make sure the kids was okay. And then, um, Then I got a text message this morning that was like, I'm not even going to talk about because I literally erased the message out of my head, out of my mind, out of my space. You know, someone definitely tried to be negative this morning and send me a text message and I just haven't talked to this person. So it was just weird to me that that person wanted to send me a message. So I just was like, no. After all the stuff that I'm feeling right now, after all the stuff my kids are going through right now, after all the stuff my kids are thinking about, worrying about, stressing about, I'm not about to give this an ounce of my time. And that's what I did. So that was the good thing is that I had exited that negative stuff right out my mind, right out my body, right out my phone. And I continue to call someone that I know that was going to make me laugh. And that person made me laugh. And we had fun. We had a good conversation. We laughed so hard. We both laughed. I laughed. That person laughed. And I carried on with my afternoon. So, um, like I said, it's 2 something, 237 p.m. on Thursday, February 1st, and I'm about to have lunch, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat lunch because my stomach feels crazy, but I ordered the best lunch and dinner because it comes with white rice, and white rice helps when you keep going to the bathroom like this, if you did not know, with no butter, no sugar, no salt, no pepper, just plain white rice helps. And if you can, chicken with no skin. Um, you can have vegetables that's not peas, uh, corn, broccoli, and I think that's it. All the other vegetables like zucchini, those are good for when you're going to the bathroom. So I actually got um, Asian chicken stir fry coming with white rice and I have... Um, Dinner rolls coming because I have dinner rolls with nothing on them because it says eat plain bread. Um, 
So yeah, I usually feel good. Um, I do have watermelon coming, but anything with citrus, like watermelon, oranges, raspberries, you should not eat that stuff when you are going to the restroom. The best fruit to eat when you go to the restroom is bananas. But the banana they brought me was not ripe, so it did not make any sense to keep that banana. So I would give me another banana. I'm probably going to order me another banana for dinner and take off the watermelon. So that way I could at least hold on to the banana and when it starts getting ripe, I could eat it. Um, I'm definitely going to drink my water down because water helps you. Um, ginger ale helps you when you got to go to the restroom a lot and Pedialyte. So I do have a Pedialyte left, so I'm probably going to drink my water all the way to flush me out and then I'm going to drink the Pedialyte to bring my electrolytes back. But y'all, I will be so grateful when this stops and I don't have to do this anymore because I'm hurting. And right now my stomach's going like it's woozy. It's very woozy. Oh, so they think that it's a bug um, going around. So they think that's why my stomach is doing this. Whatever it is, I just hope this bug passes away. Passes on so I can get healthy again. Because this is not a feeling that I want my worst enemy to feel. And it just sucks. <sighs> Luckily, this is the last leg exercises I have to do today because... I don't feel good, so the physical therapist was just like, do one more set at 2.30 and I'll be done. So, I am done. <sighs> and I just feel like when I get back in the bed, I have to go back to the bathroom. <sighs> Another blessing is that the restroom is right by my chair so I could pull the chair push the chair away and then I could pull the restroom closer and I don't have to get up and go because if I have to get up and walk farther I will have to wait for them to come so I won't fall and I know I'm getting sick that's how you know I'm getting sick it's because yesterday I came from the restroom that's by my bed and I almost fell like I lost balance real bad and almost fell like if I did not grab onto this chair I would have fell so, I just feel sick, y'all. Just sick, sick, sick. And I haven't been drinking those sodas. Y'all already know, so it couldn't be that. And I haven't been drinking the Crystal Lights. I've been drinking water and vitamin water, so I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, I was just up. So... I just wanted to let y'all know this, and as y'all can see, I don't feel good, so I'm going to get back into bed. I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on with me and how I don't feel good, and I really wanted to keep reminding y'all to go to my last community tab, my last community post, and go put all your questions that you would like to know. Elizabeth Laster already started, so go help her out, y'all. Go ask any questions. And, oh, I feel so sick. I might get off this chair and try to use the restroom. So, I love you guys. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell. Don't forget to end the video. And I'm one of the only ones that tell you when you turn on that post notification bell. Make sure you go in there and select all because it doesn't do it for you. So, you got to turn on that post notification bell first. Go in there and select all so you miss my lives, my shorts, my mug bags, my challenges, my vlogs. Anything that I choose to post, you, your beautiful or handsome self, will not miss. Also, follow me on my social medias down in the description down below. And always, I ask, even though it does not be done, just please share my GoFundMe with everyone you know. Please just donate $1 and ask everyone you know to donate $1 to it. And it will really help me and my kids out. Um, 
I so love you guys so much. And if anybody wants to know more about my GoFundMe, tell them to click the link. And, oh, I feel so sick. Click the link and go read the bio and then you will learn more about my GoFundMe and what's going on with me and my family. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to please put your questions in my last community post. I really want to do this updated Q&A this weekend so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i love you so much